A debate over hair and whether these football players can play in a local Christian sports league. The league says some players violated the rules and now parents are upset. This involves the flag football team for Impact Christian Academy at Regency. It competes in the Sunshine Christian League. And according to parents, the boys' team was told they couldn't play because some of the players' hair was longer than two inches. News for Jack's I-Team investigator Kelly Wiley has been looking into it and is joining us live from the Regency area. Kelly. The Sunshine Christian League rule says its players have to have neat, trim, conservative haircuts. The rules say you can't have cornrows, dreadlocks, twists, and curly hair can't be longer than one inch. Parents we spoke with say they're confused and upset that this could possibly affect their players playing in the games. Video from the stand shows the Impact Christian Academy flag football team hard at work at football practice and during games. But now parents are upset after hearing some of the players hair is too long for them to play in the league. Parents like Pamela Cooney. My grandson got in the car yesterday. He says we don't have a game until the end of October. He says these teams don't want to play us. He said uh, they they said it was because of our hair. According to the Sunshine Christian League rules, male players, coaches and support staff must have a neat trim conservative haircut. No dyeing or coloring the tips of the hair, cornrows, twists, or dreadlocks are allowed. Curly hair should be short, not more than one inch in length. So I've never heard, seen any kind of rules like that for any teams. Look at the NFL, look at high school, college, you know, you see boys with long hair and dreads. I don't see that it matters and I don't see our kids grabbing anybody's hair. I spoke with Pastor Bruce Armstrong. He's one of the charter members of this league, and he's also the senior pastor at West Meadows Baptist Church. They too have a team that plays in this league. He told me that the team was not kicked out of the league, but he did say there were several members whose hair was not up to their league standards. He says the team can play without them. Then he sent me this email saying, I'm communicating with the leadership of Impact Church and School. I'm currently waiting to hear back from them, so have no comment at this time. I just want them to understand um, how it made the boys feel, you know, to have something ripped. They, they worked so hard this summer. They, they went in before school started, and they were coached and coached and coached, and to have this taken away from them is not right. And we did speak with the leadership at Impact School. The administrator did not want to comment on it until he got a chance to talk with that pastor who spoke with us earlier. He said after that, he'll be able to give us some more clarity on the entire situation. The parents that we talked to say they're upset about this. They want the kids to play, but they don't think they should have to cut their hair to do that. Reporting live in the Regency area, Kelly Wiley, Channel 4, The Local Station.